Hello everyone, Monty here from Happy Lifestyle Living and today I'm going to teach you how to make salmon burgers. What I love about this is I usually make the salmon burgers when I think the salmon's going to go bad, it's been in the refrigerator a while. I want to talk about that for a second. So I keep salmon in the refrigerator for over a week, not about a week, not over a week, about a week. That's as long as I will keep it. I've been prepping salmon for years, keeping it in the refrigerator for usually a week. I have never gotten sick. I always smell it first, always, to make sure it doesn't smell bad. But I've thrown out salmon even when it didn't smell bad because it's been in the refrigerator a week and I didn't want to keep it any longer. I think growing up we've always thought, oh, seafood can stay a day or two. But no, if it's refrigerated in airtight containers, I'm telling you I've been doing this for years, I have never gotten sick. So it's really great. It, it, this is a week old. I was going to throw it out and I said, no, I'll make salmon burgers out of it. And usually by day five I'm making salmon burgers if I haven't eaten, if I did not eat all my salmon yet. So what I did is I weighed the salmon first. I've got six ounces of salmon. I got a piece and a half, and I'm gonna break it up and put it in the bowl. That's gonna be two salmon burgers. Um, I use anywhere between six and eight ounces of salmon to make two salmon burgers. I never usually make just one. I usually make two in my recipe, and I put one in the refrigerator, and I can microwave it later, or just eat it as a snack. Very low in calories. The salmon burgers are going to be 149 calories a piece. Um, the six ounces of the baked salmon, I took the bottom of the skin off, is 253 calories. I, I calculated it over there. Um, the egg white is 17 calories, and one tablespoon of cornmeal that I put in it is 30 calories. So that's 297 calories for both burgers. And um, so divided by two, rounding up, it's 149 calories per burger, which is great, very low in calories. So what I do first is I break up the salmon with my fingers. Yes, I wash my hands for everybody who wants to know. <laughs> I'm washing my hands constantly when I'm in the kitchen. And I'm probably gonna wash them in a second here after I get them all dirty. All right, so I break it up really well. And these are gonna be nice sized burgers. Well, three ounces doesn't sound like a lot, but they're gonna be nice sized burgers. Okay, now that I broke it up, I break it up a little bit more, just move it around, make sure to break it up. Then I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Okay, and now I'm gonna add one egg white. I separated the egg white myself. People always ask me why I don't use liquid egg whites, and it's just because once I was whisking an egg white and it wouldn't get, you know, it wouldn't uh, foam up like it's supposed to to make like eggs de veau, and then I got a regular egg, and I, it immediately did, and I said, okay, there must be something funky in the egg whites, or they're not fresh, or whatever. I'm never using those liquid egg whites again. So I uh, poured it in there, and then I read some, some of the egg whites in the supermarket, and they did have bad stuff in there. Anyway, so then I put the um, one egg white in here, and one tablespoon of, I use um, Red Mill, Bob's Red Mill, coarse grind cornmeal, because I like the texture it gives it, a little, a little gritty, texture in the in the um, in the uh, salmon burger and remember if you just want to do like a little appetizer you can do or set or something over a salad you could make little tiny ones instead of making one burger I make three little ones and make salmon cakes it looks really beautiful okay so I put the tablespoon in there and then now we're going to mix it up again okay and then I'm going to mix it up real good and I'm gonna start forming the patties. Now I don't put any seasoning in here because the salmon already has seasoning when I baked it, so it's very, gonna be very flavorful. These are so easy to make. And then I kinda of eye it to divide this in half, and I just take it out, and I make patties with it. And here we go. We got two salmon burgers ready to go in. So I'm gonna go wash my hands, turn the camera off, and I'm gonna show you how I fry them up real quick in um, a frying pan to finish these off. 